This segment is sponsored by the Abilene Chamber of Commerce. I'm Lauren Decker. I am the Executive Vice President of the Rolling Plains Cotton Growers. We're an organization that represents cotton growers in 31 counties uh, from the big country all the way north to uh, the eastern part of the Panhandle. We represent uh, cotton growers that are uh, predominantly dry land in nature. There's 31 counties. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Um, but we have a million land acres and we've been in business for 60 years. This is our 60th. Uh, I, I, we haven't actually kept track of how many annual meetings we've had, but this is our 60th year of operation. Uh, we're very excited to be here and to have our annual meeting next week. Our mission is kind of twofold. One is to uh, represent the interests of cotton growers and make sure that their voice is amplified and we have a seat at the table. And then secondly, it's to get information to the growers on issues that matter to them. So whether that's policy focused or uh, whether it is has to deal with like the Bull Weevil Eradication Foundation or other industry initiatives, we take the information from the National Cotton Council, the government, whatever, and feed it uh, to our growers. So that's kind of my role is to have a seat at the table, and then disseminate information. So our annual meeting is always held in conjunction with the Farm and Ranch Expo. We're very excited to be partners with the Abilene Chamber of Commerce in having our meeting there. Um, our uh, annual meeting serves the purpose of the organization. We get information to our members. And so we have a host of uh, speakers that come from uh, different organizations and they disseminate information. So we've got uh, the National Cotton Council, the Cotton Board, which uh, they are in charge of cotton research and promotion. So we'll be doing policy, we'll do research and promotion. We've got um, Dr. Bart Fisher, who works with the Texas A&M AgriLife um, Ag and Food Policy Center. So he talks about the farm bill and economics and the market and all that. And then we have a special speaker coming from Oklahoma State University who is going to be talking about mental health and the importance of that in rural communities because we've had two really hard years across our region, across all of West Texas actually, where we've not made a crop or we've made barely any crop. Uh, the drought has really hurt these communities and so we feel like that is an appropriate shift this year to talk about mental health and why it matters and why we shouldn't be afraid to have those conversations. They are not just for you and your spouse, you and your pastor. They are for us as a community to talk about and why it really matters. Well, that's a really a reason that I am a member of the Abilene Chamber of Commerce is to talk about why agriculture matters to Abilene. We're $500 million, over $500 million in economic contributions. Most of my cotton farmers also have cows, wheat, other crops. And so those contributions uh, are what drive our rural economies. But then when our rural economies prosper, they come to Abilene and spend their dollars there. And so we want to have, we think that rising tide lifts all boats. And so we would love for Mother Nature to give us a rain in the summer so we can have good crops um, and really contribute economically in the coming year.